Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how you can create a very basic and useful task management tool for your business or your teams. Regardless of your industry or function, this task management tool can be useful for your teams to keep track of all your tasks, projects and KPIs. In this tutorial, we will learn how you can manage your team's tasks, how you can assign it to them, manage their statuses, track, track out their KPIs as well as link it to the projects. So you basically get both the project level overview as well as the task level overview of what's happening you know, within your team. So let's get started. So basically in this template, we have created three tables, tasks, projects, and team. So in the task table, you're essentially managing all your individual tasks. So what I've done is, let me show you the structure of you know, the table that I've created. So the first is the task name. Uh, then there is a link column type, you know, within stack by called, you know, link to another row. Uh, what this does is you can link tasks to the projects table. So let's just say you have, uh, you know, you have added an, like a new project, you know, call it project five. And since I've already linked it to the projects table, if I add one more task, say task 11, and click on the plus sign here, all the projects from the projects table will show up and I can link this to say project five and save it. So as soon as I save it, you will see that, you know, this particular task is linked to the project. Now, the same thing, you know, you want to assign a particular team member. So what you can do is you can go to the teams tab. So let's just see you have added like your team members, all your members and their names will be listed here. And I can assign it, say, to member Y. Save it. So as soon as I save it in the teams tab, I will see a task 11, you know, is already added. You can add all the task remarks. You can also assign a particular team member through the collaborator column type. So basically just add somebody and they would get the real time notification as soon as they've been added onto a particular uh, row. You can manage the statuses to do work in progress review done. Say you want to add another status, say um, ready to go. Change this like right click, right click this. So I can add one more status like this. Uh, I can also create once it's done, you know, I can change this status to done and add a check checkbox with done. What I can also do is I can add the start dates and end dates. So let's just say this is uh, from 27 to 29 and automatically uh, the created date will, will be taken. So this is how you can, you're essentially adding a particular task. Now, what you can do is you can not only add tasks like this, but you can also create like a task delegation form. So if you don't want to add tasks directly into your tables, you basically create like a very basic task delegation form where you select which pro project that particular task is, who is the team member, what is the task name and the start dates and end dates. So let's just open this form and we'll quickly delegate, you know, via the form. So let's just say, uh, now this is a form, you know, that you can open it on your mobile or embed it onto your internet, uh, you know, however you can, uh, you can manage. So while you're on the go, you can basically assign a task to anyone. So let's just say this is a particular project, project five, uh, the lead is member four, uh, task name is say task 12, start date is 27th, end date is 29th and submit. So as soon as a form is submitted, a new row is already added in stack by. So you can then basically also like assign it to someone and you know, they can manage the statuses or you know, whether it is done or not. Right? So this is, you know, very basic, you know, how you can add like tasks to your table. Now, if you want to add subtasks to this, so, you know, you have, so the hierarchy is that you have a project within a project, there is a task and within that task, there are subtasks. So, uh, we essentially have a progress column type. So, uh, what this does is if you open each of these records, 
it will open like this into like a detailed view where you can still add and change the information that you want to change. So, but here we have, you know, comments. So you can add, let's just say, uh, comments, what's going on? add comments on individual tasks you can see the history of the task what was changed when was this added and so on and you can create like checklists so now these checklists if you click on create a checklist you can essentially create like a subtasks add your subtasks here so this is how you can uh, basically create those subtasks and you can also set a reminder on individual rows Say, remind me at this time, five minutes before, here's the collaborator and the messages follow. You can also choose to send like an email notification, right? And save it. So as soon as it's saved, a reminder is already been added. So you can also, you'll also get like a reminder message. You also say, suppose if you're also using the stack by mobile app, you'll also get the mobile notifications, in-app notifications, as well as, um, email reminders. So you can, uh, you can also choose an automation to like message people on, uh, you know, WhatsApp, like your team members, um, as well. So, so as soon as you basically, um, let's just say, uh, add subtasks to individual tasks, you know, there is a progress bar column type so which automatically tells you that okay how many subtasks within that tasks are already done so if i click on 100 uh, let's just say i'll just update it so this changes like uh like from 100 percent to 50 percent and and so on um so you will automatically see, you know, the progress on each of the subtasks, you know, that you have. What you can also do is you can create individual views, uh, you know, of your task table. So let's just say you want to change this to like a pipeline view. So this is how you can see, you know, your tasks in a pipeline. You can customize the cards, you know, per your requirement. Right. And you can drag and drop. So as soon as say task four goes from work in progress to review, uh, automatically in the task table, you will see it has gone to review. Um, and same, for example, task four goes from review to ready to go in the task pipeline table, you will see task four is ready to go. So this is how you can manage all your tasks in like a pipeline view as well. You can also see it in a calendar. So where you've already added, um, like I can basically create a calendar so I can create six different views in stack by filtered, filtered grid views, Kanban calendar form that we I've just shown you and also like a gallery layout. So in this calendar, I've already added like, okay, so based on start date and end dates, I want to see it in a calendar, you know, uh, view and I can see it by month, by a particular week, my work week, an individual day or an agenda, right? Like this. And I can color code it based on the status that I have. So you will see all of this is color coded. So if there are any unscheduled records, you will see it on the right side in the calendar panel, unscheduled tasks. Um, I can also create like filtered views where I can create like, okay, uh, where, uh, tasks are done and only show me those, uh, you know, those views. And, uh, what I can also do is I can create like individual, uh, team level sharing. So let's just say uh, I create another view uh, called the grid layout. And in this case, I just want to look at like Rachit's tasks. And you want, uh, you know, Rachit to just see, you know, his or her task. So what you can do is you can filter it by say lead, where lead contains member five or say member five is Rachit, right? Or member four. So Rachit will only see his or her tasks. And you can share this particular view, you know, as an editor to that particular team member. So let's just say I add, you know, team ID, mm -hmm. creator, editor, commenter, or read only. So in this case, 
you know once that person is assigned to a task only then they'll be able to see it within the view they won't be able to see uh, everybody else's you know tasks and yet they can just update this particular view that they have and you know they can start working and you know posting their updates so for example anything updates from here um say status goes to you know done right so it will update in the main table as well in your master uh, table as well so this is how you can basically create like first of all manage all your tasks and start like uh, you know adding people to individual views you know within your within your team now let's talk about how you can create your own custom kpis and reporting you know on these um, on this task management tool so since i've already linked it uh, linked the projects table and the teams table to my tasks table so i'll go to the projects table so you will see like uh, like i have five projects and what i've done here is uh, like these tasks are automatically linked right i've created like a lookup count where uh, i just have to count the number of tasks that have that have been assigned so since i apply it it automatically brings in the total tasks that are assigned and there is an aggregation column type so basically from the task table from the task column i just want to look at only the done tasks right so i've taken that and i've created a sum of values so and shown it in an integer so once i do that it automatically gives me only the done tasks from that so let's just say if i uh, you know done a particular uh, you know tasks so this will automatically update right and you can then do a summary that okay how many total tasks have been assigned and how many have been done and you can add all your project details here similarly you can add like different uh, information about your task you can add the documents using the attachment you know column type uh, and add like project by project project briefs or content briefs or documents related to that particular project the same i can do it with team where i have members i've done the same lookup count of tasks right total task and total completed so you can see it member by member how many uh, tasks have been completed how been how many have been assigned to them and how many have been completed um i can also create dashboards so let's just look at this so there is something called apps so within apps you can add charts summary boxes goal tracker pivot table countdown tracker global search and so on so we're continuously adding more apps to our apps marketplace so here we have created uh, how many total tasks have been assigned the total task that have been done and what is the st status versus on individual projects like in terms of status so i'll just open this you can see there are five projects and there are four statuses and uh, what i've done is i've created like a row grouping and column grouping so uh, row grouping is say by projects i can do it by leads as well right member 1 member 2 how many and which one are in what status right so i can see it in that particular you know and i can see it by status as well like in in terms of the column grouping and i can summarize it by count or by a specific field um so so yeah so that's it so you click on it and that's you've created like that dashboard and same way you know there is a status chart you know how many of them been done ready to go review and to do and all of this automatically changes in real time real time say task 10 goes from done to review so this changes you know this goes from this to this you know this changes right so this is how you know uh, like a chart like a real time dashboard is also created so you open this up you can basically manage this dashboard according to you know your you know the look and feel that you're looking at so let's just say well quickly change that i'll add to to total tasks here right and i can basically add my pivot table here so i can configure my entire real time dashboard based on the tasks that i've created um i can add other tasks as well uh, you know in this and you know start working accordingly so so this is how you can essentially create um you know your basic task management tool in stackby so you can get started and start managing your tasks right away 
what you can also do as an option here is you can create another table called clients and where you add all your clients here so let us say you're running an agency say client a client b and c and client b out i can add all the client information you know in this particular table now in the task table i can create another linked record where this is for a particular client where i link to another row to the clients table so let's just say i link this to client a link this to client b c and Just copy paste it. Okay. In the table, you will see there are three tasks added on each one of them. What I can then do is add total assigned tasks, which is like a lookup count. It's in the task. It automatically pulls that information and total done. So, which is again an aggregation. The tasks is done, and I want to create a sum of values show it in an integer format so it gives me how many of them have been done so this is how you can also manage your um, your clients in this and really you know make it your own so this is a no frills completely uncomplicated you know task management tool but very easily you can manage you know within your team and you know scale it to as many people as possible so i've added the template link in the description uh, you know give us a thumbs up or a comment you know if you like this template and if you want it uh, you know for your teams so there's a template link in the description just go ahead and uh, you know get that template link sign up on stackby and add it to your workspace to start managing all your tasks and team members so give it a try and let us know what you think